Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, obviously just being here, you want to you wanna kind of compete out there and, and uh, participate, but, um, you know, I think in the grand scheme of things, obviously, uh, you know, the important games are the ones during the regular season, so I think just getting those extra couple of days to, to kind of rest and heal and uh, move on uh, these last 30-plus games I think was really important, but, um, you know, I think it was also important for me to still be here, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big honor just to be selected to to the All-Star game in general, so um, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Did the injury happen like, on one specific thing, or just like wear and tear? Uh, I think it was just more wear and tear. I can't really pinpoint uh, you know, the exact uh, day, but uh, it's just been kind of going on and, and nagging for two, three weeks, and um, you know, kind of hoping that this week off uh, can kind of, uh, these extra couple of days, uh, can kind of help it. And, you know, I'm still planning on hopefully playing next week and then continue that. Um, I mean, it's just been something uh, just trying to manage, uh, you know, with the medical team and uh, you know, just making sure obviously every game that uh, you know rehab and stuff like that. Just doing everything I can to to help it uh, to help it feel as, as best as it can, um, you know, throughout this whole process. So, um, you know, obviously you guys are always playing through stuff. Uh, some more serious than others, but uh, you know, I kind of avoided playing the season where you know, every game matters and you want to be out there with your team. Just got here today and seeing everything, seeing the fan reactions and everything like that, it's crazy. And, uh, it's going to be really fun to be a part of and looking forward to it. You mentioned the fans. You're selected here as part of the last men in what the thing was that I was getting nominated for in the last minute and it was kind of interesting and didn't really know what to, to think of but Kyle kind of texted me that uh, I think it was the 10th or 11th night and said that uh, they voted me in and so throughout the fans it wouldn't have been possible and I got to thank them a lot for it and like I said it's something that you grew up watching and want to be a part of and I'm looking forward to it. Given all the adversity that you've had to go through from preseason signing a contract and a high ankle sprain a coaching change was this even something that was on your radar considering everything you had to go through? Uh, not really, to be honest. I, you know, I, I, like I said, I wanted to be a part of it and everything, but um, with how everyone was doing this year, seeing how this guy was doing a net for us and keeping us in a lot of games and winning us a lot of games, and Austin with uh, the goal scoring and points and, and just the play in general he's been doing, I knew these two for sure were, were possibly going to be going. and um, So I know it's hard to usually get more than two guys in there, and I didn't really have too much hope into going and anything like that and then like I said the last minute voting thing kind of came in and got told about it and the fans took over and it's super cool to see. Of course you're a leader on the Maple Leafs so is Austin Matthews him not being able to participate in any of the on-ice competitions what does it say about his leadership and a representative of the NHL still being here? Yeah it's great I mean uh, you know I think this is something that we want more this also going to be something that everyone wants to be a part of and come to and uh, it's super cool that he's still here and I mean, like you said, he's a leader on our team, and I think he's also a leader in the in the NHL and the sports now. Everyone looks up to, to him a lot, and seeing what he's doing, he's, he's done unbelievable with it. I know you're a big advocate of the women's game. Seeing the platform that they have this weekend, what can you say about that? Yeah, it's super cool. I'm, I'm super excited to, to see their game tomorrow, and I know a lot of girls on that Canadian team, and I've talked to a lot of them through the summer and through my charity event and everything like that, so I think it's super awesome the NHL's doing that for them. And, I mean, we, want, we need to get their game back up and going, and I think uh, that's something that as a group, uh, the NHLPA or whatever, needs to kind of get together and get their get their league back up and running. Yeah, of course. I think, uh, as you said, we didn't, want, think, uh, we didn't get the, the two points we wanted uh, going into it, but that's like any other game. You, you try to win when you can, and if you don't, you got to try to uh, get some flush and move forward. I think uh, they would have done any... Uh, Anyone any good since well too much on uh, yeah, I mean, any team was, uh, on that one game yeah. for a full week. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. no one's gonna roll over. I think I said I talked a little bit about it after the game just to try to look, look in the mirror a little bit, try to see what uh, you guys got what you bring and what uh, as a player can you can like I can improve and, and I think uh, that week to reflect and we'll try to uh, get to come better out uh, after the break. Uh, that's great. Um, uh, very open minded. The last six games, I mean, compared to the 21st time of the show, that I've just seen something. Very good at playing the game. Yeah. 
That's the way it's going. Yeah, I think it's still early with the new coach and new system. I think it's still early with the new coach and new system. I think it's still early with the new coach and new system. I think we had a really, really good out stretch out where a lot of things were going our way. And, um, so uh, I think teams were starting to uh, open their eyes a little bit more when we were playing them. And, and, and that, that means that we got to bring our best. So I think that's, a, that's an exciting challenge too. But uh, that means we can't take any, uh, any shift off, excuse me. But uh, yeah, just to keep learning the systems and new, uh, yeah, new different uh, coaching styles. So.